Hi, I'm Dan Herbert, and in the second video of this three-part series, we're going to continue using the three Max for Live devices from Point Blank and put down some melodic ideas to add to the drums from the first video. This video has been edited down from a longer demonstration, so you may see additional sounds I created but are not covered in these videos. For some of the sounds, I'm resampling as audio, and for others, they're being triggered live. Right, let's go to the graphic sound generator, and basically here we can draw in sound. Okay, so if I draw down something like this, uh, it's got quantize on, I'm just going to take that off. And now let's press play. I'm change it to direct. Just changes the harmonic content and the frequency range of the sound. That's actually quite nice. Uh, I'm going to speed it up a bit. It's sounding a bit sluggish. Fine, let's record that in. So what I want to come up with is a number of layers. Let's clear that. And as we're working in the session view, we can just create a whole load of loops. Yeah, not really kind of feeling that type of sound at the moment. Let's just try oval and quantizing to eighth notes. Might be able to use that. And let's switch from oval to rectangle. Quite like that. Much more percussive now. Recording a new clip. So we could use these as lots of layers. So potentially what I could do here. Is delete the others here. So to delete, I just set the intensity down to zero and then just draw over. So we're just creating a whole load of variations. We don't have to use them all. Let's try um, odd harmonic. Okay, push the intensity back up. It's kind of quite funky. Yeah, just creating variations here. Quite like that. Oh, we haven't got uh, any more scenes. Let's create a few of those. Ending up with far too many, but this gives us some different options later on. So I'm just putting down ideas here. Sometimes these work and sometimes they won't, but the key is not to get too worried at this stage. So I've created a couple of extra audio tracks here and just moved across some of the loops which I thought were working well together. Now, what I also want to create is a kind of synthy bass sound. So let's just uh, create another MIDI track. And for this, I'm not actually going to use the modular synth. I'm going to use um, the synth we created for the Max for Live tutorials explaining kind of basic programming, okay, called the PB synth. Uh, let's just turn this up. So it's a real simple sorting synth with a filter. And what I'm also going to use is I'm going to use the big riff generators. So this is going to make up a riff. And what I need to do is create an empty clip and, and just switch back, click on open button, and then double click. Let's just go there, click on generate, and what it should do is it will create a load of notes and it will create a riff. Now this riff is based on how I'd play a riff on a keyboard. So really it's no different if I was to come around your studio uh, and play the keyboard, apart from there's no wrong notes and it's all in time, I'd kind of create similar riffs for this type of idea. So let's, uh, let's create a riff there, let's press play. So that's kind of uh, quite musical sounding. I'm gonna just, um, I'm gonna hit generate again. So I'm also gonna just shorten the note, just get a little bit of kind of detachment. Let's click on generate again and press play. 
yeah, that's better. Quite like that. So again, with anything like this, you don't have to use the whole riff. You could just find, you might just like the start of it. Let's just select over those, hit zero. Okay, and then you can kind of develop it, bring in uh, other notes, um, or you, it might be close to something, but you just get in there and edit it to however you want it to work. Okay, now what I'm also gonna do here is I'm gonna just copy this down because a kind of key thing in any kind of synth riff is you get movement into the sound. If it's just playing notes, that can tend to sound a bit boring. What we want is movement there, okay? Now, another kind of way to add interest and movement to a sound is to look to processing. So we're gonna use some distortion and also the point blank auto sidechain. Let's just close that down for now. Let's drop in point blank stereo distortion. So this is uh, pretty full on, basically splits the signal into several bands. And then what we can do is we can distort the individual band separately and also add stereo width as well. So a bit too hot at the moment, it's gonna drop the level. So we add a little bit of width to the mids, but you can also use it as an actual processor. So, Add some width to the top frequency band. A little bit of crush as well, just to add a little bit of extra noise. Turn it off. The other thing I want to do to this as well, let's just stick on point blank auto sidechain. Straight away giving that kind of classic pump. This is the auto sidechain is just purely uh, pumping that on four to the floor. Another thing we can look at as well is developing the actual riff. So, uh, let's see. Let's start playing around with length of notes. So starting to play with the feel and kind of adding an extra kind of sense of rhythm to it. Also, we can look on these long notes, they're a bit samey. We haven't got an envelope on the uh, PB synth, just a simple synth. So what we could do here is look to automation. And let's say we want to move the filter. Um, so point blank, PB synth, here we go, cut off. Right, let's come here, let's just click here. Cool, that's nice. Okay, so again, it's about getting interest in the sound, so it doesn't just sound like a synth. It's starting to sound like something different. Uh, and that's potentially where you can start to get some individuality into your tracks. What could be quite effective is create a riff, copy it down again, and then change it a bit more. Okay, like I said, what you could do is actually start off the riff. Um, let me get out of envelopes here. Oh, wrong shortcut. Okay, and actually as you start off, we could equally make that a bit longer. And then start introducing, again, what we could do is copy this pattern down, so just Command D. Uh, on the new pattern here. Now, already what I'm hearing here is actually this needs a little bit of delay. Just to add a little bit of interest to it, okay. And uh, again, delays really, really powerful uh, effect. You can either add a little bit on all the time or you can look to automate it. So let's say you wanted to emphasize this note here. We could do this a clip envelope. Uh, let's go back to clip envelopes. Mixer, delay, it's already on, good. And something like this. Yeah, you're getting real nice little extra little glitchy note after it. 
So again, this type of thing is worth playing around with. Little changes can have quite a significant effect. So, so something which started off life as a simple saw wave is now turning into a riff, which has got kind of interest to it and movement. Make sure you check out the final part of this series where we'll be coaxing some intense sounds from the point blank modular synth.